Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. It's me again. So in this course, I will guide you how to coding using CCF compiler and how to build a simulation on Flutter. So in this course, I focus about P12FC75. So in the first lesson today, I uh, will guide you how to blink LED with the P12F. 675 okay just like and subscribe to supporting me and watch a lot of video in the future so the first you need to build a simulation now we are over opening product <coughs> you can download product of pixie in the link below with this video For further information, contact with me. You can contact to me with the information below this video, like a Skype, like a WhatsApp, or like an email. Okay, you are just to new project. Wait a second. Okay, here is near my using simulator. And do the path to save this project. I saved it in the desktop. Here, yeah, the folder. The next folder. Next, next, next. Okay. So now the first we need to choose the equipment. You just choose here and pick file app C seven five. Okay, and you can see the information about big cell you can see we have the two timers one one a b and one 16 bit we have the four channel idc 10 bit okay and we have this just double click when you double click this here is the list equipment okay and now led I choose the green double click and register you choose here and double click now I need the button Yeah. Capacitor. You do the generic. And here, okay. So the first here is our microcontroller Pixel F675. And you can see we have the six in IO. For the first, this pin GP3, this pin to connect with the reset button, and we just using GP0, GP1, GP2, GP4, and GP5. So we just using five GPIO this, we just using five pin to connect with the I/O device. Okay. So the first, I connect with the button. 
the button to uh, make the reset okay so for the reset yeah You should change this value. And here you connect to ground. Here you connect to the power. Okay. And so I just using the label to connect with the VP3. This is that pin, okay? Output, okay, output. Okay. And uh, label. Okay. And here I uh, using a label. Now we are going to blink LED. So the first I'm using LED. As you can see, we have the green LED. Now I'm just to here, okay. And we need the resistor. I change this value to 100 and. Okay. Here I connect the ground. Okay. And so now the first I'm using the DP0, DP0 to blink this LED. Okay, so we connect with it. Okay, so the simulation is done. So now we should double click here to check some of the information. You can see for the clock frequency we using 4 MHz. Okay. You can change the value, it depends on you. So now we just going to coding. We just open CCS compiler. Okay, to the file, new, project weather. Okay, to the folder, desktop here. You can change this name. Okay, but I'm using the default name. You can change another name, okay. So here pick twelve and to the pick twelve F six seven five here okay and we don't using crystal we just use the internal so this here you change the value four okay just remember remember this we do the internal okay do the internal it, because we're using the internal pools, so we need to choose it internal, okay? So now, create project. After that, you need to do review for me. Review.
Okay, after you review this, you can see in the file main.s library, you can see internal, okay, and the software do some command for us. We don't need to type in it in, okay. So the first Chipling output hi in I zero turn okay delay three hundred millisecond output low I zero delay we can rest okay review okay to the head file GPIO zero and this pin I N zero. So we using pin I zero. Okay. So now I change this pin to I on. Okay. And now here we just change to I on. And here I on. This is going to turn off. Review. Okay. And now I'm changing this to this pin. And here we change I to I to. Okay, so I change it, connect to this pin. And we just I4, I4. Okay, this pin you can see in this I am free, but in fact, we are using the pin I4, okay? Because I3 is the reset pin, and the I5 review. The I5 we need to change the next pin. Okay. So now I will guide you to using another command. So get it turn on and I just go just using this command is in I five one then turn on turn on and here I using Output I by zero. Okay. Turn off. This command is equal this command. Okay. Review. Okay. So now I got you to using another command. We just okay here and here go. You just using output solo here. I find. Okay, so we have three ways 
to turn on or turn off to control with the output pins so here is a chain spacer okay okay this lesson today have done so just watch to for a lot of video in the future so like and subscribe to supporting my channel and see you in the next lesson okay bye bye